Okay, let me address the biggest, fattest, juiciest elephant in the room, which is your girl is now living in Canada and I left the United Kingdom, or rather we left the United Kingdom because obviously, myself and my husband, yeah. <laughs> we left the United Kingdom since January, actually, since 9th of January, I've been in Canada, I have been living here, so I would say it's almost two months. And nothing bad happened okay in fact it's more of good news it's not a bad news or anything nothing bad happened glory be to jesus basically in settling down finally wanting to start a family in looking at our long-term goals the businesses we want to start in the nearest future where we see ourselves in the next 15 to 20 years where we see ourselves settling down finally and all of that we kind of brought the two countries together we brought united kingdom and we brought canada together and we looked at the pros and the cons of each country and we also spoke to people because we have family members that had moved from uk to canada and we also had family members that had moved from canada to uk so we spoke to both parties intensively and we did our research intensively and at the end of the day we kind of deviated towards the pros of canada and now it doesn't mean that united kingdom is bad in any way this video is not about me bringing down one country and raising up another country i'm not that's not what we are doing here i'm not going to be setting up ring lights and be telling you 54 reasons why i left uk it's nothing like that okay i had a good time in the united kingdom i had fun i lived life i made friends i don't regret it at all I got my MBA and in fact it's even my MBA that is now opening doors for me here in Canada my MBA so now nah, I don't regret doing all of that in the UK at all and I also had fun in the UK but at the end of the day it's not about fun there's just certain decisions you just take as a family because you're looking at your future and that was exactly what we did because at the end of the day we just deviated towards the pros of Canada now this is not an immigration channel okay <laughs> I can't start sitting down and start telling you what were the things we considered in making a decision. Just do your own research yourself. Talk to people yourself. And there are several channels out there dedicated to telling you the difference between the two countries and what to expect in the two countries. So nowhere is easy at the end of the day. I'm not saying UK is bad and I left and I'm not saying Canada is better so I'm here. Nowhere is easy. The way the world is going right now. No, where it's easy. People in Canada will tell you, don't come here, we are suffering. People in UK will tell you, don't come here, we are suffering. People in America will tell you, there's gun violence, we are suffering. And people in Nigeria will tell you, if you see an opportunity to jackpot, please take it. So, like, at the end of the day, nowhere is easy. Wherever you find yourself, just try to survive by the grace of God. And you also need proper planning. This was not a decision we just woke up in the morning and oh we are bored of uk let's move somewhere else this this wasn't that kind of decision this decision was thoroughly thought of <laughs> we planned it very well and we knew when we wanted to start working on our visa to come here that was sometime last year after we just compared both countries and all of that so like i said this is not saying oh uk is bad blah 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 nah nah okay this channel is about Ihoma is his life. Oh, sorry. Ihoma Akimu is life. <laughs> so basically, at every stage I am in life and I want to share, I come to my channel to share it. So you were with me when I moved from Dubai to London. You were with me when I got engaged in Dubai. You were with me when I got married in Nigeria. You were with me when I finished my master's in flying colors, period. <laughs> you guys shared all these moments with me. So it only makes sense for me to now let you know that. Hey, I'm in Canada. This is where we are settling down finally by the grace of God. I'm saying by the grace of God because it's not easy. Okay, it's not as easy as you think. Settling down anywhere is not as easy as you think. So I keep saying by the grace of God. That's it. <laughs> you see, I told you it wasn't that deep or anything. But so far, so good. I have been loving it here. I'm not going to lie, I have. And I feel like some people knew I was already in Canada. Like some Canada girlies, they knew. Because I posted something and somebody was like, hey, welcome to Canada. And I was like, how do you even know I'm in Canada? And she was like, oh, the blender. And I was like, the blender? Me, there was no point lying. I mean, no. <laughs> when I get caught, I just say it. Oh, yes, I'm here. <laughs> so I got like three to four messages saying, welcome to Canada. Somebody said they saw the blender. 
because I posted one video and the blender was showing and she was like this blender is only in Canada you find it and I was like wow -woo. another person said oh they saw a store in my background and I was like I tried so hard I can remember posting that picture on my story and I tried so hard to block that store but the person still saw I think it was Dollaroma Dollar I don't know how to pronounce it but that was what the person saw and I got caught <laughs> and in my head I wasn't even ready that time because I just came and I wasn't ready to share yet I wasn't ready at all <laughs> but I got caught by um few people and that's fine actually now I'm ready to share because I'm finally settled so now that I have cleared that elephant I have talked about why we moved here let's get to business let me show you guys what i have been up to so first things first we needed to obviously find an apartment and furnish an apartment <laughs> honest finding an apartment wasn't what was giving me headache <laughs> what was giving me headache was furnishing the apartment because I just finished furnishing an apartment like a year ago and I did not just have that strength to do it all over again and I was sick I was very very sick you guys know how crazy it was for me from the wedding to the honeymoon and straight to Canada the second night of our honeymoon in Dubai I was rushed to the hospital like my body could not just take it anymore and I was on drip so I stayed in the hospital till the next morning and I got discharged my honeymoon like <laughs> it was so crazy I needed to rest so it was as if during the whole wedding my body just knew that okay it was my wedding let me just give her all the energy she needs to get through this period immediately the wedding was over my body broke down like everything shut down so i was in the hospital it was crazy the asthma symptoms that i've not had in a long time came back all over again because i had asthma growing up and i thought all of that was over but all of a sudden it just came from nowhere like five to six years i've not had any symptoms in like five to six years it just came back and i go rush to the hospital i just needed to rest doctors just said i needed to rest and i was on drip and i rested the whole night and I went back to the hotel the next morning and I continued my honeymoon <laughs> and I acted like nothing was wrong with me but I was so sick so I was still recovering coming from Dubai to Canada I was still recovering like I was still weak so furnishing apartments was not something I was looking forward to because and it was cold again it was cold oh my gosh it has gotten warm now but guys it was so cold see let me just apologize publicly if i've ever ever in my life compared the cold we experienced in the uk and the one we experienced in canada i apologize forgive my ignorance and forgive my stupidity because this place is cold like we got into toronto then from toronto we came to vancouver toronto was so cold so when we started apartment hunting it was like it was hell for me because i would we would always be going 
inside the code from one apartment to the other apartment and again i wasn't just ready for all of that because i just felt like i did all of that a year ago and now i have to do it all over again so in my head i was like can we just look for furnished apartments <laughs> and somebody told me that the only thing you get in canada is the floor you will never see any furnished apartments and to be fair in uk too you don't see furnished apartments in the uk i think the only place i've ever seen furnished apartments is dubai when i lived in dubai there were like several furnished apartments but i, I was just like I I don't know i was delusional and i was having faith that i would come in and we'll see like at least one furnished apartment when we finally found this apartment i was like you know what let me make this my mini project and let me just start furnishing I don't know about anybody but with me when i'm furnishing apartments i like to always start with the kitchen because i just feel like you can get these things like they're very very easy to get for example pots plates cups kitchen utensils and all those stuff they're very very easy to get so i always like to start with the kitchen finish with the kitchen before i move to other parts of the house before i move to the living room or the bedroom and all of that and again you could always sleep on an empty floor i'm being honest you could always lay down on an empty floor but you need to eat so i always make sure that the kitchen is the first thing that i start with and that's what i did when i moved here i basically got all the kitchen stuff first before i decided to move to the living room to the bedroom and all that but eventually we finished though yeah, everything looks good. Eventually we are done. I'm set. So it took me about a month to get this place furnished. I decided to take my time. When I was in the UK, the one I did in the UK was kind of washed. I don't know if you guys can remember. I think that one took me about two weeks to furnish. But because this space is much, much bigger than the one in the UK, it took me about a month to furnish this place. Now, my headache was not even the kitchen. My headache was my couch. Because there's this particular couch that I wanted to get for the longest time. To be fair, most of the things I got from my apartment, for this apartment, I didn't get them from Ikea. I got several things from other places like HomeSense, Home Depot, Costco, even Walmart. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could find home things at Walmart. Like, I got several things from those places. So this particular couch, I was like, I must get it from Ikea because it just goes with everything that was in my head and again nearest ikea is at richmond and not vancouver like it's so far so from vancouver to richmond is like 45 minutes drive so just because i wanted to get this couch we had to like it was like a road trip which was very annoying i don't know whether there's any ikea in vancouver but I don't know but the only one i saw like the nearest one i saw was in richmond so we had to go or we had to drive all the way to richmond like very early in the morning just to get the couch and come back and that drive was such a long drive it was more like a road trip but in my head i was like mm -mm, this is the couch i want for my living room and this is the couch that i will get <laughs>
got here. This place was so far, like so so far. Starting all over again can be really scary and hard, especially when you're coming from a place where you felt like, oh, I could make something here, and all of a sudden you now have to like get up and move all over again and start all over again. But if I'm being honest, I haven't felt stable or settled in a long time. But moving here since I've been here January. I feel so stable but so far so good it hasn't been bad at all I'm looking forward to making new friends I won't lie and I'm also looking forward to actually taking my time I can finally start planning for the future because when I was in the UK there were just certain decisions that I couldn't make because at the end of the day we just knew that we weren't going to stay there for the rest of our lives so I was like mm, why should I even buy this when I know that we are moving to Canada soon or why should I even do this? Why should, why should I even get this when I know that we are moving to Canada soon? Being here is more like, okay, yeah, we can start the planning. We can start the organizing. We can start taking certain decisions as a family that would affect our future in a good way. Yeah, so just in case you're wondering what happened to the UK apartment, <laughs> my mother is the latest tenant in town <laughs> and she is so happy to take all those things and make it hers. Like I said before, we didn't go back to the UK from Dubai. After our honeymoon in Dubai, we came straight to Canada. So the house was still there, but my mom has a key and she was able to just do everything <laughs> the mom way. <laughs> and I'm so happy she sorted that house for me. Like she took that stress from me because I was sick, of course. She took that stress from me, so I was so happy. Anyways, glory be to God, I am finally happy. I finally feel at peace. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just finally feel at peace. And I just finally, I'm just finally happy. So, yeah, cheers to that. And also, cheers to new beginnings. I never...